Welcome to No Longer Conformed. I'm Eric Garthy, and we are studying the church, teachings on the body of Christ. In this session, we'll be looking at Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20, the church plans for evangelism. Let's read our text, Matthew 28, beginning with verse 16. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Select the best and build a team. Like a sports draft where they look at all of them and take the ones they want. Or so select the team, select, select the best and build a team, or build a team and make it the best. What's the significance of Galilee? It's where Jesus chose to gather his team to begin the task of evangelism. Matthew 26, verse 32. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Matthew 28, verse 7. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And indeed, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. In verse 10. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee and there they will see me. Mark 16, verse seven. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he's going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. Jesus built his team with all sorts of people. I mean, did you notice the comment about some of Jesus, some on Jesus' team, some doubted, verse 17. It's difficult to see past the cross. It requires faith. The church is not built according to man's ways or according to man's understanding. What is the plan? Well, it's the command, go. Our text reveals three dimensions of the Great Commission command of Jesus Christ to his church. First, there is the basis of the command. Verse 18, all authority has been given to me. There was a transfer of power, both spiritual and physical. Jesus Christ defeated Satan at the cross and demonstrated his power by the resurrection. So there's the basis of the command. Second, there's the content of the command. First, go to every nation. That means everyone, everybody. Therefore, Jesus' authority will open hearts to hear the gospel. What is the therefore? Therefore, well, we're all sinners. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And we deserve punishment because of our sin. The wages of sin is death. But God loves us. So he sent Jesus to give us eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And how did he demonstrate that? Well, he sent him to the cross. Jesus died in our place. God demonstrated his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We need to confess that. If we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, our trust in him now. If we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. For with the mouth confession is made with the heart, we believe unto righteousness. And then all we simply need to do is ask God to forgive us. All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do you know this? Go to everyone. Go to everyone. Therefore, 
Therefore, what's the therefore? Therefore, because of Jesus' authority, hearts will be open to hear the gospel, and it's our job to let them know. Listen, may we always be available when he provides divine appointments for us to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Make disciples with the goal of reaching everybody. Disciples, two words, Mateo, to learn with no attachment to the teacher. This word is not in the New Testament. Mateo, which means to learn and become attached to a teacher, become a follower in doctrine and conduct. Four times it's used in scripture. Here, here and in Matthew 13, verse 51, Matthew 27, verse 57, Matthew 28, verse 19 in our text, and Acts chapter 14 and verse 21. The gospel is shared intending to make disciples and then baptize the new believers in the name of. Baptizo means to immerse. In the name of means to accept the confession of that person and be identified with his purpose and his character and then teach him to obey. Observe all things. Pay attention with intent of fulfilling you know, the laws of the state. New disciples must learn what Jesus expects of them. Make disciples, baptize them, and teach them. Who is supposed to do this? Every Christian. No exceptions. Every Christian. No exceptions. It's not just the pastor who's commanded to fulfill the Great Commission. When was the last time you led someone to faith in Jesus Christ? Have you ever done so? And then third, there's a promise, is the promise of the command. Verse 20, I am with you always. Here's the reason for us to have confidence. The command was given and has not been rescinded. The only question is, will you obey the Lord's command or continue to make excuses? If any Christian does not evangelize, he or she is disobeying, is disobedient before the Lord. Make a commitment today to be a soul winner. You have a great day.